I was arrested in February on the 25th. He called me on the phone and was like, what happened? I was headed towards a dark, dark, dark place in my life. Trying my hardest to stay away from my old associations. Excuse me. Hello? I'm so, I'm so sorry, but my parole officer is pulling up right now. What did you do? How you know if you're pregnant or not? It'll be two limes. We pregnant. We're pregnant? We pregnant. Yeah. Jessica. What are you doing? <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh my god. <laughs> yes. By the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Maurice, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Me and Maurice have been together for almost six years. We met in like May of 2013. It's crazy. <laughs> I can't believe it's been that long. Malik is 11 and a half months old. And my son is getting big by the second. So you might hear a little bit of talking and mumbling. During my stay in Las Vegas, I was, I was doing good. I had, you know, my first job was a warehouse job, which was for Walmart return. I was working, not one job, two jobs. I stayed out of trouble. We did more family things together. And it just made me and my wife happier. Everything was like, believe it or not, they say nothing's perfect, but it was perfect out there. In October 2020, Maurice's um, parole officer made him come back to California, put an ankle monitor on him, made him stay in California. When they put the uh, ankle monitor on my leg, it's like my life changed overnight for the worse because I was stuck back into an environment that I did not need to be around, that I did did not want to be around. When Maurice was in California, we didn't we didn't see each other for months because we just didn't have the money to go back and forth. It's expensive. So for like six months, I had to take care of Malik my, by myself. It was hard. It was really, really hard. When Maurice was in California by himself, I was kind of worried because I'm not there to kind of, you know, be there for him. What if he went back into the, you know, his neighborhood and started doing all that kind of stuff? I was arrested in February on the 25th. What happened to him was me and my little cousin, I haven't seen him in about maybe nine years. And we're leaving, going towards the freeway, and he forgot to turn his headlights on. So the police pulls us over, and they asked me and him, are we on parole or probation? And I said, that, yes, I'm on parole. And they searched the car, I found the gun in the side of my hidden compartment. When Maurice first got arrested and he called me on the phone, I was like, what the f did you do now? I'm like, what did you do? You've been so good. What happened? My little cousin was like, hey, you know what? It's mine. So, you know, I, I take full responsibility. My cousin didn't know nothing about it. And uh, just to put it out there, I was never charged or never convicted of a gun felony. No, I didn't get seven years in prison. He just got 60 days for his parole violation, which is because he was with another gang member and there was a gun nearby, which he can't be near any weapons or anything. It may sound crazy, it may sound funny, but I was happy that God put me in jail. He did it to where I can open my eyes and realize that if I want to keep doing the things that I'm normally doing and I'm used to doing, this is where I will be for the rest of my life. I don't never want to leave my kids or my wife or my family. And I'm not, I'm not living like that no more. What I'm basically trying to say is it's time to get my ass off my ass and get the money legally and take care of my business. I was released on April 23rd, 2021. As soon as I see my son and my wife, I'm like, okay. It's back to normal program. Mwah, I love y'all. Come here, give me a hug. You know, you know how I go, you feel me? I think Maurice has like um, a year and a half left on his parole. Me and Maurice are doing everything by the book now for his parole. We cannot go through this stuff again. It's crazy. So yeah, everything will be done legally now. I'll be going back home, Vegas, legally in about like a month, a month and a half tops. Excuse me, hello? Oh, I I'm so I'm so sorry, but my parole officer is pulling up right now. I gotta just see my PO for like 10 minutes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh so 
Let me start over. What just happened with your parole officer? Uh, my parole officer just pulled up and uh, he had checked, he was just checking my ankle uh, monitor. As you can see, I'm still on it. Because sometimes these things, you have a little malfunction and I guess today mom was just one of the ones that had it. So he just wanted to make so I didn't cut it off or break it and go on a run, you know, regular, typical, high-risk parole stuff. I love being a mom. It's so amazing uh, getting to wake up to my baby every morning, seeing his little smiling face, even when it's 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm still happy to wake up to him every morning. Malik is a handsome, humble, funny, strong, smart, kind of arrogant, Baby. He started walking at uh, like 10 months, so he, <laughs> and he's all over the place. My son's birth, it was it was the, probably one of the best things that ever happened to me in my life. Malik definitely looks like Murray. I, I think he only has my color eyes and that's it. Honestly, I think my son looks like my, my, my father-in-law. I think my son looks just like his granddad, which is a good thing, because he's handsome too. My parents get to see Malik uh, very often. My sister has met Malik. She loves him. She's, a, yeah, she's pretty obsessed with him. We talk every day, pretty much. So, our relationship's good. What's up, baby? It feels great to see my daughter just happy to hug me, to know that her daddy is here to know who her daddy is. Michaela is, she's doing good. She's beautiful, she's smart, she's tall. My daughter is 11, about to be 12 in December. She's met Malik, you know, a few, few different times. The first time uh, Michaela met Malik, she was like, oh my God, he's so cute. He's so white. <laughs> she's like, that's not my brother. No, she's joking, but she loved him. You know, she just wanted to hold him and it was really cute. My daughter stays in California, in uh, Apple Valley. In my custody with my daughter is not where I want it to be right now, unfortunately, because uh, due to my mistakes, I'm in the process of going to the family court and setting up a court date so I can get joint custody of my daughter. You know, I want to be able to have those rights. I don't care if it's a day, two days, 10 hours. I don't care if it's 40 minutes. I'm really hoping that Maurice gets at least 50% um, custody. He needs to have his daughter in his life, and, and I really hope it happens. Oh, the hate I get on social media. I laugh at most of it. The haters and the commentators, I just, I just want to say thank y'all. Y'all, if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be fake famous. Sometimes I feel guilty because I put my wife in this situation. But then again, I feel good that the fans and some of the commentators and haters are, you know, keeping my name alive. But this is my thing. You guys can talk about my wife, me, my family. Y'all can talk about everything y'all want about just me and my wife. But please, please stop talking about my child and my both of my children at that, please. Because they didn't do nothing to y'all. My, 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 you know, my son and my daughter, they're innocent. I have really thick skin, so I can just get on with it and it doesn't bother me. <laughs> but when you talk about my child, that's another thing. You do not talk about a baby. Plan for me and Maurice's future is to just, first of all, get him to Vegas legally. And, you know, um, just be successful. We want to buy a house. I want to have at least one more kid. My wife took care of me ever since I met her. So I want to flip the script and return the favor and take care of her. I want to live like a normal citizen. That's all. I just want to be a normal citizen. A father for my kids, a husband for my wife, a son for my mother, and a family man for my family. That's all. Say hi. Say hi, Dookie man. Hey. Bye. Uh -huh. Say bye. Bye. bye.